Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Sunday, November 3, 2024. 40 degrees at 9.03 a.m. and I am your host, Pa Kamal. And I am a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today, it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart, a life based on faith and not fear. Come on, Mickey. Come on, sit down, puppy. I've just been joined by my brother, Prince and co-star, Max. Here's that beautiful Max. Girly girls are out there doing who knows what. I think Princess Elsie <laughs> just went upstairs. Oh, who is that? is that? That's Chloe for sure. But is it Ruthie with her? Did that fail? Was that some shitty camera work? Hey, folks. Yeah. Anyway. Sullivan's outside for about the 10th or 12th or 18th time. I lost track. City chicken's on the wire. Food out there. I just finished a delicious omelet. In the pre-dawn, I had a cold, thin, watery gruel for breakfast. My omelet consisted of uh, tomatoes. No, they were tomatoes this time. Some onions, some jalapeno, some extra sharp cheddar cheese. Whisked some eggs up with some cracked black pepper, a little bit of garlic, some basil, and threw a little moo in there. Oh boy, what's some girly girls doing? What's some girly girls doing? So anyway, we've been up. I don't know if it was since about five or four. I don't, whatever clock I looked at might have been off by an hour because guess what? It's daylight savings time. One of the most useful things ever come up with. Did I say useful? I meant useless. And all I know is if there's a, a government and a law enacted to make it happen that somebody is drifting and making money on it. I've never bought the logic and the reasoning for it. And like most things, like I said, there's somebody's making money off and it's a, we're just rats in an experiment. It causes untold grief to people. It's nothing but total bullshit. They used to call it wartime because supposedly during World War II, it had something to do with production in the war factories and any idiot, if you think about it, if you've ever worked indoors anywhere, be it a store, you know, a grocery store, a restaurant, a factory, the fucking lights are always on. So how is that going to increase production? You tell me that. Leave that in the comments below. Uh, oh, that's right. I turn comments off. My mic show, my choice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, Mackie, where do we start from now? Where do we go from here? Uh, recap from yesterday. It was a beautiful day. It turned into one of the most beautiful November days I can remember in my life. It ended up being about 45 degrees. Sunny, no wind. And I mean, if there was a day to go for a bike ride, that was it. But I made up my mind to, for exercise to do my yoga, lightweight workout, and then walk to save a lot and back for my exercise. Which I almost couldn't do. Uh, started getting some sciatic hip pain, and it was pretty brutal coming back. I, over the years, had issues with that, and usually going to the chiropractor, he would adjust my neck and that pain would go away. Back around 2016 or so, I tried everything under the sun to make that thing go away. And in 2017, a friend of mine let me use an inversion table, and I wasn't on that thing for 10 seconds, and that pain went away. And had been there for a year nonstop. And that's the first time I've had an issue with it since that back then. And since that time, I think it was that year, 2018 maybe, I did buy my own inversion table. And the more 
if I was doing a lot of physical labor back then, I was working for myself, and I got to tell you, my boss was a real asshole at times. Uh, you know, doing a lot of heavy lifting and hauling rocks and the things that I was doing, uh, I use that inversion table a lot, but I hardly have to use it at all anymore. And so, I guess doing walking and hiking is not a good option for me, and I guess that need, means I need to be using the bicycle. I don't know. So anyway, but yeah, I came home from Save a Lot earlier in the day. I think I cooked some uh, meat for some tacos, had some tacos, cooked some chicken later, some broccoli, hung out with the cats, read to them, uh, watched some videos, the usual things, a real boring day even by my standards and so far this morning we sat out here in the pre-dawn and it was really nice I did enjoy it you could see that there was not a lot of it wasn't the complete cloud cover we have now and over to the east and over the lake it would be uh, it was just awesome those patterns and the colors that were there when the, the Sun first started rising so anyway, the girly girls are at it. They are hard at it. It's Gracie and Chloe, I think. I don't know where Ruthie is. Maybe she is out there, but we're probably going to go join them in a moment or two. Uh, this morning, I haven't done a lot other than just sit here, say our prayers, read our readings. Made the gruel, like I mentioned. Made an omelet. Folded some laundry I had washed the other day. Put that away. Let Sully out all those times and let him back in like I mentioned. Sullivan? How are you, Bubby? Oh, and I did go sit outside last night again for probably a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. It was nice. I enjoyed it. Ah, Jesus. Yesterday, a pair of my socks turned up. The girly girls brought them from I don't know where. They steal them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's time to get some girly girl action. There we go. We got Gracie picking on Ruthie. Chloe just watching. Look at you, sweethearts. Look at you, girly girls. Uh-oh, that's enough of that one. She worked her way out of that. What are you doing, Chloe? What are you doing, Koki? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Maxie's getting something to eat over there. What are you girly girls doing? What are you beautiful sweet sisters doing? I love you, honey. I love you all. So anyway, uh, I watched a bunch of Richard Pryor videos yesterday from the... Uh, the show when he was wearing the red suit. He was hilarious. He was gifted. I got some good laughs. This morning I watched a clip from a movie called Used Cars that came out in the 1980s. That was hilarious. If you've never seen that movie, it's a, it's a gem. It's a classic. Uh, but there was one other vi video I watched, Decoy Voice, this morning. He's an old favorite. And he does a very good job of describing what happened to that poor squirrel and that raccoon in New York. The state showed up at this guy's house. He said there was half a dozen of them and it ended up being about a dozen of them there. They wouldn't let him be in his own home. They searched it. They asked him if cameras were there. Uh, and took his squirrel and his pet raccoon. And they could put all that manpower and firepower on a home Asked his wife if she was a, uh, an illegal immigrant, I think, also. And they could use all that manpower and legal force on a guy that's running a rescue ranch for animals. But they can't stop criminals. And it was a total abuse of authority and the law. And they ended up murdering the, the, the raccoon and the squirrel over pretentious bullshit. One of the officers was bit by the squirrel. And... Anyway, watch the video, Decoy Voice. But it's sick. 
that's what this country's coming to, and there's no stopping it. I really fear that there's going to be bloodshed in the coming years. I'm going to see it in my lifetime. And in the end, it is going to be the fascists that are going to win. I'm really concerned about that, but there ain't much you can do but just live life one day at a time. But they'll stop at nothing to get their way. They will stop at nothing. And unless we get rid of these we're not going to get rid of them. They've made sure over the years to make sure that anything we try to do is against the law, despite what the Constitution tells us. There's just too many grifters and useless parasites in politics and in positions of power, which they shouldn't have. Authority, power, whatever you want to call it, they're supposed to be working for us. And they've brainwashed enough people over the years to make this freak show seem normal and legitimate. And people that are like me, we're, dinos we're the dinosaurs and the freaks now. And I don't think there's no going back. I really don't. So with that, we're going to take a little break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Come on in, Sully. There's that Sullivan. Oh, watch your tail, bub. Watch your tail. Oh, did that fail, hey? Look at those girly girls having a little bite to eat. Where'd Uncle Max go? I think he went upstairs with Princess Elsie. Yeah, city chickens are still up on the wire out there. And, uh... Wanna come sit with me, Sal? Come on, Gracie. Gracie! Gracie! I have no idea what we're going to do today. I really don't. Uh, thought about having a cup of coffee, but I don't know. I know if I drink coffee, I can motivate myself to go ride. But it's been over a month since I had a cup now. and We're going to go with it a bit longer and see if there's going to be any more changes in our our body and our habits. So far I haven't really noticed anything. As I've mentioned before, I never had uh, digestive problems from it. Uh, what are some of the other things? Jitters and twitches. Maybe a little bit, you know, later in the day sometimes if I abused it a bit I'd have to have another one, but uh, a lot of the issues that a lot of people have from coffee, I, I never had. And I miss drinking it, but I don't know, especially on a cold morning like today, sitting out here. So anyway, but I think we're probably just going to do our usual yoga and stretching and do some push-ups. and Who knows what's going to happen? Probably work in the kitchen. Uh, I still have some taco meat I can eat, and I might make a pizza today. I just don't know. I've got some chicken I can cook. If I get out in a boat, I might go visit a couple former co-workers and people I know at Save-A-Lot. One of my favorite workers and friends was Sister Karen, I called her. Because she was like my sister. And, uh, anyway. Oh, what are you thinking, Gracie? It's all he's getting a drinky over there. I think Mac must have went upstairs to his spot with else. Max has been going up in a closet. He likes to lay in the closet. So anyway, I think that's all we got. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. There was something about yesterday I wanted to mention also when I was on my little rant about politics and everything else. But I guess it wasn't meant to be. So, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, tired, grieving, happy, ungrateful soul, piss off, happy Sunday, and thanks for not tuning in. <laughs>